Hey everybody, uh, welcome to the shop. Uh, I'm at the Tuesday morning right now. Last night I found out that Blade Sports, uh, Blade Sports International, is hosting a Blade Sports competition 30 minutes from my house. Uh, only problem is, like I said, it's Tuesday. Um, the competition is Saturday, and I'm actually not a member, so I've got to do the uh, competi or cutting certification course, which is on Friday. That leaves me with two days to make a competition chopper because I don't have one, and um, part of a day to make a sheath for it. So let's see if we can make some steel and maybe get a competition chopper made up. Um, I've already got some Damascus made. This is plenty. Now what this is, this is just straight uh, 100 layer stack, no pattern or nothing. So I think I'm gonna cut this in half and put me a a solid core right in the center and a, a sand my technique and let's weld this up uh, maybe put a little pattern on it for prettiness and yeah let's make some steel all right so here's what i did um I got that piece of Damascus we talked about a while ago cut up, and I got my core. Now what I did, and I've never done this before, but I, I know it's gonna work. I cut a groove down through here. So that'll set in there. And this piece will come and sit right on top like that. And it's locked in tight. That way on the, the spine of my knife, I've got nice, even, beautiful flowing pattern welded steel. So I think this is what we're gonna do. So give me a minute, let's get her tacked up and uh, we'll throw her in the fire. I just fired that up, so it'll be a little bit before we get up to a welding temp, so y'all just hang tight. All right, so we're getting pretty close up to temp now. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the forge and give it just a little bit of smush under the tire hammer and then flux it. And the reason I like to do that, whenever this steel heats up, the layers in it will, will actually start to expand. And when I say layers, I'm not talking about the Damascus layers. I'm talking about, we've got three pieces in there being a sand mine. So those pieces might move a little. I want to close them up, flux it, because I don't want my flux getting down in, inside my layers. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. If I can ever get it out, like I never used a pair of tongs before. Or turn my machine on before. Now that was in no way forge welding it, because we're still nowhere near hot enough. Like I said, I just like to give it a little bit of, a little bit of hail. So, if I can get this camera set up, we will go ahead and flux here. It 
this is not my day for doing things. There we go. The thing with flux, it don't take a lot at all. All right, we're back in the fire. Now this time, we're gonna let it get up to a full heat. And uh, I'll have the Chambersburg fired up. I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up now, let it be warming up. And uh, we'll start doing some welding.
Well, we got a problem. I don't know if I was just getting after it too hard, too fast, or what. But got some D lambs happening right here. The other side looks good, but I'm not going to trust that. So we got to go for plan two, which I didn't want to do. I've got another piece of Damascus over here. It's already about the thickness requirements I gotta have. This is a 350 layer, same deal. It's a, just well, it's it's a random pattern on this. So I guess we'll throw this in the forge and go and forge a knife out of it. This metal prepped. Um, this is it. Now I got these marks here on my anvil. This is my 10 inch mark and 15 inch mark. The um, parameters for this knife is the blade has got to be 10 inches from tip to the plunge line with a five inch handle. No more, it can't be, a, it's a maximum of 15. Um, what I'm gonna shoot for is, oh, and it's gotta be two inches wide too, so we're a little shy but I'll, I'll have plenty of room time I pull my bevels down. And yeah, let's uh, see what we can do with this. We're at 3 8 thick, which I, I want to leave it at 3 8 thick on the spine. From, from what I've read, most of you competition choppers are pretty thick, uh, anywhere from 5 16 to half inch. So we're going to shoot for something like that. Uh, I'm going to put a a real slight up sweep in the belly of this thing. I don't want it to be too aggressive, but I don't want it to be flat either. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we can do with it. I'm gonna fire the coal forge up because I don't like forging on gas, so let's turn this baby off. And we'll fire that coal forge up. Y'all just hang tight.
So I've just about got my handle profiled the way I want it. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit more, then we'll start pulling them bevels down.
All right, got the blade forged. Uh, took just over an hour. I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. I'm about three quarters of an inch long, so I'm just gonna take just a little bit off the tip. Finish profiling the uh, handle up on the grinder. We're still at three eighths thick. And oh, maybe three sixteenths on the edge. That leaves me plenty of room to get her ground grinded. I got just a nice little up sweep on the very slight up sweep on the blade edge here. That's what we wanted. I'm gonna let this baby cool off, and we'll get the grinding. Unfortunately, that's all I'm gonna have time to do today. I gotta go to work. But I think I got me a real good starting point for tomorrow. Still looks good. I don't see no issues anywhere. We're gonna make it happen.